Now, I'm not too sure if this is good news or bad news. I'm leaning more towards the bad news side. But if you don't know, yesterday the Rail Brothers did post a video called Rail C's Open Testing Phase. And within that video, they showcased the new things they've been working on, the new VFX, the new graphics, the new combat, ETC. We got to see some things we haven't seen before. We even got to see gun combat. This is the first time we've actually seen gun combat. And I'm not gonna lie, it looked very good. It, it was it, it, I liked it gun combat looks nice and I do think I want a main gun so I was really excited to see that on top of that we got to see uh, how the new visuals look the game looks beautiful let's not lie the game looks amazing but shortly afterwards we got some very confusing news now seeing the title of the video you would expect that they would like say hey open testing phase is on this at this date and it's gonna be doing this and that and this is how it's gonna work but we didn't really get that so basically they stated at the start closed testing will be joined with open testing which is a very confusing statement to open up with we're not really too sure what that means maybe the closed testers and the open testers get to play together or closed testing is coming to an end and maybe they want to bring up the open testers to for the last part of testing yeah it's not really expanded on and it's really vague so you can only assume and be confused but they also said open testing phase and rel c's movie free is coming soon so i i think I think that means we're gonna learn more about open testing phase during movie free during movie free maybe i don't know and that probably means movie free is coming relatively soon either this month or early november i'm assuming so it would make the most sense and then shortly after that they mentioned that the game is leaving closed testing phase an open testing phase will be limited to people who apply for it plus invites for gold and silver subscribers on the discord server so again it kind of confuses you a little bit more because of the opening statement saying closed testing phase will be joined with open testing phase then shortly after they say the game is leaving it closed testing phase and then they say open testing phase is going to be limited but if it's open testing phase and it's limited to people who apply doesn't that still mean it's technically closed because it's limited to people who are applying i would assume or from what i know open open testing would mean like the opening up the game for like people everyone to play shortly i don't i don't know obviously closed testing before they handpicked a certain amount of people it wasn't really they pan picked a couple of gold and silver subscribers but it was mainly picked between people they trust so open testing in this instance i'm assuming means hey we're gonna get a bunch more people in it's gonna be open to the public it's not specifically chosen it's not biased and all these people who have gold and silver subscribe on the discord server on top of people who apply we're going to be choosing a bunch of people at random to play during testing so it is a little bit different to how close testing was but i don't know if i would word it open testing because then it leaves a lot of people confused that's why a lot of people thought we got clickbaited there was a lot of people confused including myself i'm even still confused now i'm not too sure if the information i'm saying is even like 100% accurate mainly because everything was just kind of vague it's kind of vague so take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt but I'm quoting what we watched yesterday in the video and kind of drawing my own conclusions from that information and then we got more news that uh, well it's just gonna scare you a little bit more uh there was mentioned that release month may be affected if problems occur during the final development stages so i'm assuming that means if during open slash closed testing i'm just gonna say testing because i don't want to confuse myself anymore during testing if there are more problems that come up if there's hiccups and issues that need to be worked on it may push back the release of the actual game for the public so we might be not we might not be getting the game in december as we do know the game was announced to be releasing during the month of december during rail c's movie 2 but they also have not actually set a date during december so the speculation is open it could be start mid or end of december but now that we've got this video the rail c's open test phase video uh 
but they have said release month may be affected if problems are encountered. So if there's a game breaking bug, things of that nature, they decide they don't like something and want to revamp it, because they've revamped the game a couple of times now, the combat's changed on like three different occasions. Combat looks good now, it's good that it's changed, but the combat has been changed, revamped on three separate occasions now. So that's a good thing, but at the same time, if they see another issue like that that they want to change, it could mean the game is not coming until 2025. So yeah, the way they phrased it, it does sound like a very nice and subtle way of saying there's likely going to be a delay and the game won't release in December. They didn't actually say that, but it kind of sounds like they are trying to imply that. So that's the conclusion I'm coming to at least. A lot of people are thinking, yeah, it, it might be that as well. So we might not be seeing RLCs in December or 2024, but I don't want to put that up in the air because we might very well see real seas in december 2024 again that's why i'm confused on whether or not this is good or bad news because if it's good news nothing's gonna change and we're still gonna be playing real seas in 2024 and if it's bad news well everything has changed and we won't be playing real seas until 2025 so i don't yeah it's, it's on the fence it's super 50 50 this whole situation kind of feels like a coin flip it's honestly a coin flip but the Royal brothers do work really fast i mean they revamped the game multiple times in the time span of a month or two where games like well all the games on roblox that i know of take years to revamp one thing so we actually might have nothing to worry about and this might just all be one big misunderstanding <laughs> um but yeah that's honestly it for the video just wanted to make this video to clear up the confusion that everybody has right now i think everyone's confused because if i'm confused i'm assuming you're confused that if you're confused everyone's confused obviously but yeah hopefully this all just blows under the wind and we will see real seeds relatively soon it is what it is the game's looking beautiful i want to see more gun combat and um i'm pretty sure real seeds movie 3 is going to be centered more towards the game's combat mechanics i'm assuming especially since they just revamped it i'm assuming we're going to see more combat mechanics and things of that nature also before we end this video another thing that was really really bad that we didn't hear anything of they did not mention closed community if you don't know i they've announced this multiple times a while back i don't remember specifically when or what video but Rousey's closed community is meant to be coming out during this month of October, but they didn't mention that in this video. Now, I don't know if that means it's getting pushed back or maybe they just had no need to talk about it in this video because the video topic has nothing to do with closed community. I don't know. I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see. Hopefully closed community still is this month because that's why I'm looking forward to October because closed community for LCs. But yeah, well, again, we could all be very paranoid right now and there could be nothing to worry about but until then i'm gonna see you guys in the next one i love and appreciate every single one of you guys peace